Heavy rain and the flooding means water everywhere, but still not enough to drink. In 2006, Jamaica identified water security and by extension food security as being most vulnerable to climate change. Rising temperatures, drought, more frequent and intense hurricanes, as well as flooding have already begun to affect the quality and access to water as well as the country's infrastructure. When the rains come after the dry season, then they come in torrential um, aspects. So you get a lot of runoff, a lot of heavy erosion, which causes problems to the car reefs, which causes problems for the farmers, which causes problems for everyone. They get the bridges washing away, the road network being disrupted, which costs the government to rehabilitate to keep the country running. It's not at the point because of climate change that we must be part, we must be involved in these new type of negotiations. We must welcome any type of activity that will address some of the problems that we have experienced first time in the water sector. Food security is critical. The island's agriculture is in the main rain fed. A drought means, among other things, higher food prices. So when the rains don't come, that creates a problem with respect to the higher cost of production of food, but also um, higher cost to the, con to the consumers of that food. Uh, when we have um, intense drought that we've had, I said, um, in the past few years, then the households are affected. And um, you have to store water, you have to either have drums, plastic drums, or you have to identify when water, trucked water is coming into your area so you can get um, a collection um, to take care of your domestic and, and, and other needs. Water scarcity also poses health problems. In many times, water is not properly stored, it becomes a breeding site for mosquitoes. The agency of the mosquito, which is found in Jamaica, has spread a number of diseases, including the newer ones, other than dengue, but Zikvi and some of the other ones. And so we have to be very careful even when we store the water that it is done so in a proper way. Negotiators at COP22 in Morocco, including those from Jamaica, are paying close attention to initiatives that will eliminate the challenges associated with water scarcity, while making their water sector resilient to climate change. For the Earth Journalism Network, I'm Carol Francis reporting from Morocco for PBCJ, the People's Station.